When I was seven years old, me and my mom, we went to go to Barl's Noble and I got this Audubon bird book and thought it would be cool, so I begged my mom to buy for me, so she bought it for me and I studied the whole book front to back. You squeeze this into that flower and then you pollinate to the other. See, that's how pollination starts. Kids would come to, up to Sebastian and they'd look at him and they'd say, you know what that bird is? Yeah, the kids identified with him so well, as opposed to seeing you know, somebody, their folks, or maybe even their grandparents' age, so it was kind of neat. Birds are just cool. Uh, they just could fly free and have this beauty, and they're very smart, and they help out the ecosystem. It's good to teach them more about birds so they could be aware of them and try to help the birds by saving their habitats. It's very infectious. He wants to talk about every bird. He knows every bird. He knows the sounds. It's his passion, which is really the leadership part, you know, because he isn't afraid to get out there in front of other kids. <laughs> Trying to get those kids to have the spark. It could be a bird, it could be a butterfly, it could be a dragonfly, it could be a skunk. I mean, whatever it takes to connect them to nature, Sebastian is doing a great job kind of spreading the word. See right there, that little branch in the middle of the tree, if you see a little bird flickering around it, it's called a blue-gray gnatcatcher. Not all the kids are going out during nature these days because they spend most of their time playing video games, which it's a bad thing to be playing video games all day. They should be outdoors looking at the birds and nature. Burning is kind of like a video game where you can spot all the birds and spot as much as you can. And then that's how you pollinate. That's awesome. It's a really good demonstration. I think it's great for him to be recognized in this field and what he does and everything. He really puts a lot of effort into his birding and his study of birds. So I think it's a good thing that he's winning this award. It's like peacefulness, like if you're getting too stressed, birding is perfect.